Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Psyche and this is going to be my playthrough let's play type video for Cyberpunk 2077. I say video, it's going to be a series, obviously. Um, so this is not my first time playing. I played this game uh, originally whenever it first came out, but I never created any content around it for various reasons that I'm not going to get into here. But uh i never finished it and i definitely didn't do like a 100 percent like complete all the side quests and explore everything kind of playthrough so um considering i haven't finished it and i haven't done all of the stuff i wanted to do i thought this was a really great opportunity especially with the dlc coming out to actually play the game from the beginning and have a good time so uh i guess let's just get right into it shall we i'm just gonna double check before i do anything else that i have uh the disabled copyrighted music yes let's do that let's do that first <laughs> the menu music is a vibe though the menu music is a vibe i just want to make sure that i don't get caught like falling foil of dmca or anything but the menu music though hey what a vibe let's get started so I'm going to start off with uh, normal difficulty because uh, let's be real. Uh, as much as I feel like I could handle harder difficulties, especially in a shooter game, I would like to enjoy the story. So we're going to do that. Let's do it. All right. So life path. I have a really controversial take on this. Um, I initially played a street kid and I loved it and it does feel like my vibe but I am so tempted by Corpo I am so tempted to do like a kind of Corpo sniper hacker kind of build and like really kind of focus down on that and also just have like a kind of backstory of like a lady who got into like the corporate world thinking that was the only way she could survive this like dystopian cyberpunk future um, and then realized that she just, it wasn't for her. Stole some secrets, maybe sold them on the black market. I don't know. I'm i am feeling that might be a vibe, but I do also think the street kid appeals to me so much just as a character as well. So I'm gonna have to think about it. Um, so Nomad, roaming the badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots. Life on the road wasn't easy, but growing up in a nomad clan has its perks. Honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom. Qualities that few in Night City possess and no amount of money can buy street kid they say if you want to understand the streets you gotta live them gangs fixers dolls small time pushers you were raised by them all down here the law of the jungle dictates the weak serve the strong the only law in night city you have yet to break corpo few leave the corporate world with their lives fewer still with their souls intact ain't that the truth You've been there, you've bent the rules, exploited secrets and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game, only winners and losers. So I don't know. I feel like if I go, I'm Nomad doesn't really, really appeal to me. I don't know why. It's very Mad Max vibes. I love the family kind of aspect, very fast and the furious, but like it doesn't really appeal to me. Street Kid appeals to me because I feel like if it were me and I were in this future, it would that would be what I would be um and i do feel like it gives a lot of freedom as to like what kind of build i would want to end up going with but then that could be a bad thing and then there's corpo and i feel like the sniper hacker play could be a lot of fun but i don't know all right after a lot of deliberation i've decided to go corpo i went street kid the first time i also <laughs> kind of relate to corpo insofar as i i came from the corporate world but like from video games because i used to work in the games industry and i do feel like i i've gone from this to being not a hacker <laughs> but i've gone from like corporate to super not corporate so i think this could be fun so we're gonna go corpo uh hello let's pick our v all right so i apologize in advance for how long i'm gonna take in character creation but it is what it is. I'm V. All right. I'm V. Okay. She is really pretty. Um, skin tone. Let's see what we have. Oh, that's actually quite nice. It's. <laughs> I'm very pale. I don't think it's going to be pale enough, but that's okay. I'm not trying to make me specifically. I think I already have in my mind what I want my character to look like. 
because I did have in my head that I wanted to do like a um, corporal character in the past. I just never played it. So All right, this is skin type five. What are the differences? Okay, so we can have like a kind of different shading look and we can have some freckles. All right, okay. Let's see. Okay, so I do think five works quite well. Hairstyle, let's go. This is probably going to take forever. I'm actually going to change the color so I can see it better against the darker background. But I think it's pro she's probably going to have... Well, I don't know what she's going to have as her hair style yet. But let's go. So she started with 27, which is actually kind of cute. Let's see what we have. Oh, that's nice. I, do you know what? That's actually an oddly nice hairstyle with this face. I don't know how to explain it. I'm going backwards. We're going to go all the way back to one so that I don't get lost. So let's go. One. Very nice. Looks like Judy. Was it Judy? I think it's Judy. Judy was my romance. Ooh. Okay. Already I am into this for Corpo. <laughs> this looks pretty good. I'm not sure about hair color, but that looks pretty good. So that's number three. That is a, a contender so far. That is definitely a contender. That's cute. I think, isn't there a character who looks like that in one of the like story missions, I feel? Like blue hair? I feel like a mohawk could work. <laughs> a mohawk could work. I think this was one of the, I think this was my first character's hairstyle. So full disclosure, I did get to the point of no return, but I didn't go past that. And I honestly remember very little because I played this as soon as it came out. There were a lot of reasons that I chose not to stream it at the time. And I'm actually kind of glad because it means I now get to have a proper full playthrough now. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm going to be doing it exclusively on YouTube. So that's pretty cool. Oh, maybe this is more of a Judy look. I think this might be the Judy hairstyle. Oh, wait, no, this is the same one. <laughs> it's the one I said earlier. <laughs> cute. Love some space buns. This was the one we started on. It's really cute. I really like the undercut. I actually really want an undercut in real life for summer. Oh, she looks nice. She definitely looks good. I do like the face already, which is a good start. That's nice too. Actually, do you know what? That looks kind of nice for Corpo as well, but I still feel pretty strongly. I don't know what it is, but I like the like slicked back look that I'm thinking for uh, our Corpo character. I think it just works. So, oh, that's nice. I think if I were a street kid, this would be the hairstyle I would go with now. That's kind of cute too. All right. I don't know how many hairstyles there are. Quite a lot though. I think I said three, right? I think I decided on three. I think, I've pre I think I'm pretty solidly set on three. I just don't know what I want it to be, like color-wise. All right, so here we go. Three, that's definitely three. Let's look at the colors. So we have, I was thinking black. Black looks kind of nice. Blonde actually looks remarkably nice too. Like the kind of platinum blonde look. Got like a brunette, a kind of gingery color. We got like a teal. Teal's nice actually. Well, it's, it's not even teal. It's kind of like an evergreen, like emeraldy green. All right. Blue, that's a lovely shade of blue. Um, That's nice. I think I'm pretty ready. Oh, that's lovely. I think I'm pretty set on what I want. Ooh, the rose, the kind of like rose gold look is nice. That's kind of nice. That's cool. Kind of like a silvery gray. That's cool. I love these like kind of multicolored. That's very my color, like my old color of hair, which I'd like to go back to, but like obviously my hair was long. Nice. That looks cool, very mermaid. I know like Corpo in this, especially in this kind of like setting wouldn't need to be uh, especially like, you know, um, ooh, nice. Um, like bright colors are bad, but I'm I'm still, I don't know what I ate. Ooh, cute. I think I feel like a, a plain color is really nice. That is really nice, actually. That's also quite nice. Um, so I'm torn now between this, this, and this, but I think I'm going to go with the black. Is that black? No, that's black. Yeah, we'll go with that one. All right, cool. I think that works. 
All right. Eyes, let's go. We're on 15. She, girl needs to stand still. Let's start at one. Okay. I kind of like that she has, like, the cyborg kind of almost. Oh, those are nice. Just kind of scroll through these and pick one that works. I apologize. And I like, I'm sorry, not sorry that I'm going to spend so much time on making my character. But I think it's important. Even if you don't really look at your character all that much. What was that one? Was 15. I quite like 15. 15 is quite nice. Quite like 20 as well. The, like narrow die. Okay, we're back to the beginning. I think 15, maybe. Yeah, I think 15. I think 15 is a good look. Um, and then eye color. So I'm I'm conflicted. I feel like Corpo, you'd probably have access to like more augments that you might not have access to if you weren't Corpo. So like having these kinds of like cyborg type. I say cyborg. Cyborg's the wrong word. Um, but like you do know what I mean? Um, I feel like having the augments would make more sense. And this does kind of look like that. Although it is probably just contact lenses. <laughs> So let's have a look at like what regular eye colors we have. I do like, I quite like her gold eyeshadow look. I don't know if I'll keep it, but I quite like it. Right. Might go with purple. I'm not going to take the bloodshot look, although it is very good. <laughs> it's very, very good. These are weird. But I like all of the different options. These are also really cool. But I think maybe I'll take purple. Or do I want? No, I think I'll take purple. I'll take purple eyes. Because I always go with purple something. Because, like, <laughs> could you tell it's my favorite color? Um, eyebrows. All right, let's go. We got not a ton of games do eyebrows well. I'll be perfectly honest. Those are actually really nice. Those are good eyebrows. Solid eyebrows. No eyebrows. Actually, she, do you know what? She kind of suits no eyebrows. I'm going to take the nice thick eyebrows. They look really good. Eyebrow color, we'll go with black because that's the color of her hair. Eyelash color, the same, I think. But I do like that you can have like purple and stuff. Um, all right, okay, nose type. I'm not really all that picky about what her nose looks like, if I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not really especially picky. I want her to look nice. Are you... Okay, I have a question for anyone in the comments who's watching character creation and wishing I would hurry up. Um... Are you the type of person who, when you're given... I asked this to Twitch chat the other day. When you're given the option to create a character from scratch, I quite liked five. Um, you... Oh, no, I like six a lot. Um, do you make, a like, a, a nice-looking character? Do you try to make your character look good? Or do you try to make your character look weird? Because I feel like I... my Amongst my friends, there are people who try to make, like, a hot character. And then there are people who try to make the most cursed combination they can possibly come up with. Do you know what? We're, we're gonna we're gonna scroll through the last couple, but I think I've picked my nose already. <laughs> I've picked my nose. <laughs> I think I'm going with five. It's got a nice bridge. It's got a good good oh wait, was it five? Oh it was. It was five because um four had a like smaller bridge. I think that's kind of cute. That works. Mouth. Do you, so do you make a character that's like super hot or do you make a character that's like really cursed looking? Girl, you need to sit still while I'm trying to change your face. Three is pretty good. I think I'm sticking with three so far. I'm always worried that I'll just keep rotating through them because I'm looking at all the different options. I think three is the one. Definitely nothing like mine. <laughs> I, for some reason, I've I've always known that I have like a quite a thin upper lip. Ooh, these are actually they kind of suit her face quite well, but I think three works. I think three works. Jaw. Um, again, I'm not sure. I really want to worry too much about the jaw because like, she keeps sticking her hand in front of it anyway, so it's really hard to tell what the jaw looks like. So 14's pretty good. I like a woman with a strong jaw. I like a strong jaw in general. Do you know what? That's quite good. 
ears. Okay, I don't really know that I necessarily need to worry too much about ears. How do they have so many different kinds of ears? Unbelievable. Character creation's gone hard. Four is kind of cute. Yeah, I think we're going with four. Four is nice. Cyberware. All right, let's go. What do we got? What's number one? All right, one is into the eyes. I find it, I think it would be really cool if they actually described what this cyberware was supposed to represent. Um, With regards to like what it does and why a person would get this particular modification. I think there would be, it would be kind of nice if we understood what it was for. I quite like the forehead one. Okay, so you can turn it off. I think we're going to take the forehead one. It's a little bit subtle, you know? Facial scars. I usually give my character a facial scar. I think because I'm not doing, um, what do you call it? Because I'm not doing Street Kid, I think I will probably avoid. Love the fact that there's a facial scar for a bruise. Like as if, I mean, maybe there is a type of scar that just stays like a bruise forever. But I mean, as somebody does pole dancing, I, <laughs> I feel like that is true. My legs are covered in bruises constantly. Right, facial tattoos. I did, while I was messing around, with character creation, see that there is um, like a facial tattoo that's actually a neck tattoo. This one. Where is this? Oh, it's a, like a beauty spot? No, it's not. What? Where is this one? Oh, it's on this side. Oh, it's kind of cute actually with the like thorns coming out. Okay. Oh, no, wait. This is the one I couldn't figure out where it is. Is it like on the back of her neck? Where is it? I don't know. So I'm thinking I might take this one but i'm not sure yet i'm, I'm undecided imagine that's kind of cool actually that's really pretty oh actually that is really pretty okay so for me it's between that one and the the skull one that we saw so we'll have a look piercings i would like her to have some <laughs> I would like her to have some, but I, I, I wish that it was possible for you to have like just, I am going to go with that. I scrolled through these the other day. Actually, fun fact, I started this recording last week and everything broke. So if you see me looking over at this screen over and over again, it's because OBS, I'm keeping an eye on the preview just in case my camera crashes again because I lost everything last week. Um, do you know, so far gold kind of does look like it suits her. I'm not normally a gold girly, but... Right, okay, we're going to keep normal teeth. What does she got? She's got silver, gold, rose gold, or bronze, I guess. Pink, and then just regular teeth. Okay, um, let's see what we can do for makeup. So I kind of... Uh, first of all, I'd like to get rid of the lip, lip makeup style. What does this mean? There we go, right? We'll just get rid of the lip makeup just for now, just so that I can focus on everything else, because it is distracting me. So, eye makeup. What do we got? Okay. I'm going to turn off... Oh, well, actually, now this shows me if there's, like, black and a color. But I think I might change this so that I can actually see what the makeup looks like. I kind of am very fond of this. I'm very fond of that. Um, It did look good with gold. But... I'm thinking... Oh, I do like that, too. Honestly, I think their makeup options are actually pretty good. I think we might stick with the first one. I think it looks really good. That's interesting. But I think we'll stick with the first one. I think it really works. The only thing is, do I want it, do I want it to be black? or oh, That looks nice too. Do I want it to be black or do I want it to be gold? Because the gold... You see, if we do this... Glossy matte. I think matte. Probably. That's the next option. Yeah, okay. So, if we do, like, that. Like, that looks good. That looks good. Whereas, like, if we do um, the gold. And then, do we do, do we keep this? Do we do it red? Oh, she's hot. <laughs> we can have, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Maybe it's because it's, maybe it's because it's, like, matte. 
I think that looks really good too. Do I want gold with red lips or do I want the black eye makeup and black lips? Oh, it's tricky, but I think if we're going to have gold piercings, maybe we should do the, the black lipstick and the black eye makeup. I do think my character is pretty hot though. Not going to lie. <laughs> I would. <laughs> right. Cheek makeup. Let's go. We got some freckles. Freckles are cute. The freckles are very cute. Um, so we have blush. Kind of like, I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm going to change the color of this, but it's hard to see some of these. So I think like, what if I do this and then change this to like a kind of peachy color? kind of nice although I do kind of like the freckles I gotta be honest I think the freckles are kind of nice yeah I kind of like that blemishes is like extra kind of skin like color markings like different like moles and freckles and stuff nails right please excuse the breasts all right I took long nails the first time I played this. I think my character would have short nails because I think she would just absolutely break her nails every moment that she was playing or playing, um, doing anything. Would she keep her nails plain? I think she'd have black nails. Let's go for it. Chest. I, we're going with big because I have big boobies. Um, we're keeping the nipples as is. Uh, body tattoos. We have one that matches that kind of neck. That kind of matches the other one a little bit, doesn't it? Maybe. Oh, that's cute. That works with the one that we have. That's actually really nice. I might do that. I'm trying not to have the breasts on screen all the time. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Yeah, let's do that. Body scars. Ah. Uh, do you know what? I don't want to spend too long creating content around boobs. So we're going to do that. Um, that's fine. She's just going to face away from the screen right now. I'm sure you don't mind. <laughs> All right. So what are our stats? Body. Um, let's, do they tell me? Okay, here we go. Body determines your raw physical power. In addition to allowing you to force open doors, each level of body starting from level three adds three health points, three or five health points, three stamina points, increases damage with fist and gorilla arms by three, increased damage with melee weapons by 1.5%. Decrease movement speed or movement penalty by 6% while grappling an enemy or wielding an HMG or defender. Increase possible movement duration while grappling an enemy. Okay. Intelligence determines your net running proficiency. Each level of intelligence will increase cyber deck RAM capacity by 4% and increase quick hack damage by 10% and increase quick hack duration by 1%. I do think we're going to need that if we're going to do like a sniper kind of hacker. Um, reflexes. Determine your maneuverability in addition to increasing your overall movement speed. Each level and reflexes will increase crit chance by 0.25%. Increase damage from mantis blades and monowire. I'm so sorry. This is behind my, my camera. Increase damage from mantis blades and monowire by 3. Increase mitigation chance by 0.75%. By default, mitigation grants a chance to reduce any damage taken by 50%. Technical ability represents your technical know-how. It allows you to unlock doors and use tech weapons. Each increase in level will increase your armor by 1%. And cool. Everyone knows you need to have some cool. Cool determines your resilience, composure, and effectiveness in operating from stealth. I think we're going to need that too. Each level of cool will increase crit damage by 2%, increase all resistances by 1%, increase stealth damage by 10%, reduce the speed at which enemies detect you in stealth by 0.5%, and increase enemy grapple duration by one second. So we have seven points. I think we should balance a little bit of intelligence a little bit of this and a little bit of this now reflexes i don't know if it's really necessary for me to have reflexes i know body's not required for this build um i kind of feel like it needs to balance the cool with intelligence and tech reflexes determines your maneuverability in addition to increasing your overall movement speed cool increases crit damage and stuff so i do feel like that's going to be necessary now we do have one extra point we could put it in reflexes 
extra hit points and stamina points is not a bad thing, but I'm not going to be using a lot of melee, I think. So... I'm going to put it into int for now. We'll see how it goes. All right, bio monitor panel. Alias V, difficulty normal, corpo. If you leave the corporate world with their lives, you are still with their souls intact. You've been there, you've bent the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game, only winners and losers. All right, I think I'm happy with that build. I don't know. I'm sure somebody will leave a comment telling me how I've gone horribly wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's go. So begins our story. Are we ready? Only took 30 minutes. <laughs> Oh, look, it's us. Jenkins is waiting for you in his office. Oh. V, you there? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm here. Hey, Jackie. All right. <clears throat> Fine. <clears throat> I just needed a breather. Girl, you ain't fine. You just threw up. You blew your guts airlock. Uh, yeah, I barfed. It's just stress. Uh, I know that feel. <sighs> Job's gonna kill you. Everyone's a critic. Not dead yet. Don't worry. Not dead yet. Exactly. Yet. Anyway, what's going on? Oh, hello. Is there a problem? Yes, we that's had a, no. a leak. My boss called, dragged me in because we had to intervene. Everyone at Night City HQ is on edge. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. You'd think. Jackie, if you work in Arasaka Counter Intel, you're always fucked. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I'll manage on my own. All right. Well, good, good luck. Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. First time in Night City, pay close attention to the tutorials to learn more about the basic mechanics of the game. Or if you're already an experienced edge runner, feel free to disable hints. I'm not going to do that. Go to the database anytime during the game to access tutorials as well as to read up on the most important topics. All right. Well, before we go anywhere, are there any items around here? Anything I can steal? Can we go beat that guy up and steal his star? Oh, hello. Like in general, or okay, they don't like me. Okay, that's fine. Leave the bathroom. Okay, let's go. I wonder if it's like suspicious to run towards your office. Yeah, what happened? Frankfurt crisis worsens. Requires immediate action. Soon Japan knows everything. It's safe as Heart rate elevated. Cortisol level elevated. <laughs> Five pending notifications. Oh my gosh, I can feel the stress. Okay. Nice eyes, bestie. Okay. Am I... Do I need to press anything or are we good? Oh no. Hello, Arthur Jenkins. You were supposed to be here an hour ago. I'm on my way. Got held up, but I'll be right there. Fucking Frankfurt. That Abernathy bitch will probably dump it in our laps. Okay. This doesn't sound good. I'll be in my office. Okay. You hurry up. I'll do my best. The lift only goes so fast. Where are you guys going? Because you're sure as heck not going with me. The Japanese Imperial Navy. I think we're in trouble. Okay. Hi. Hello. Mr. Jenkins asked me. Hey, V. He's in his office. Been All right. Ages. Cool. Oh, hello. Can I help you? It's me, Frank. We met during Icefall. He's coast. He seems a little nervous. Listen, sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush right now. We'll talk another time. Okay. Handled. Sure, sure. Good seeing you again. I feel like that's gonna come back and like bite me in the ass. Emergency protocols active. System security confirmed. This is so tense. Jenkins girl. What do you mean, Jenkins girl? 
Oh, this is so not good. Please enter the antechamber. The antechamber. All right. Visitor authorization granted. Are you online? It's telling me a read on Jenkins. Have a seat, B. Be right with you. Okay. We have to handle this voting issue before we lose our bases in the sea of clouds. They're about to begin. What's the situation? Mm. Like they were telling me that he has no kids. He's 43 at the mm -hmm. top of the screen. Yeah, just as we thought. Big screen. You know what to do. Start now. Director Abernathy. I watched the vote. What the hell was that? A deep clean after the shit Frankfurt dumped on us. As we agreed, I got rid of the problem. I told you to resolve the problem, not massacre the European <laughs> Space Council. Do you understand what the cover-up will cost? We would have lost the license. Now we gained a week. That's a win. Path of least resistance always. No nuance has you written all over it. We're not done doing talking this. about this. <laughs> okay. I hate that bitch. I always have. We worked together long. Always meaning how long? <laughs> Before Night City, we worked on an assignment in Osaka. Two years of subterfuge. She spent them digging a trap for me. When she became director of Spec Ops, and that's when she finally shoved me. Okay. Now she's holding a gun to my head to make sure I don't. Oh, literally, though, pal. But she won't pull the trigger because she needs me. I do what she doesn't have the guts to do. Divide and conquer. Effective strategy. <sighs> Effective. What would you do in my position? Uh. Honestly. Please. There's not much you can do. She's got the Night City board on her side. I love how they throw she me wants right you in. Out. Well, you understand. I do. Seems we see eye to eye on this issue. Do we? <laughs> I don't feel like we do. Take this. Oh, what is this? The data shard. Proof of my trust. Go on, take it. This is so tense, and I don't know how to explain it. The music is helping a lot. It's what I've collected over the past weeks. Happy Biometrics, happy. trauma team card, names of her closest associates, driver, chief of security, lover, lover's husband, everything. Use it and make sure Abernathy won't be a problem anymore. Okay. Said it yourself. She's left me no choice. Anyone finds out we even talked about this, I'll go down with you. I feel like that's where that's this is going. True. But everyone knows you only made it to where you are thanks to me. What a dude. So it's not like they could ever believe you played no part in it. What'll happen if I refuse? Don't ask stupid questions. This isn't a request, V. We seem to understand each other. Take this. <laughs> Here, too. Here's the money. <laughs> Use this money only. Find the right people for the job. No corporate affiliation. And for the All core right. task, use someone you know inside out. Are we clear? Yeah. I have a funny feeling that's going to mean Jackie. Good. In that case, I'll await your report. And good luck with it. Dislike sports. I have my AV waiting outside. It's yours to use. And don't disappoint me. I feel like disappointing this man would end up with me sleeping with the fishes as they say any stuff i can like harvest from it no i don't think so he's just talking away to himself now oh hey are we gonna have to talk to this guy now i have those reports you asked for send them to me i'm busy i don't have the time just send them my way okay read the report on your personal terminal you alive how's things in the viper pit Viper Pit's putting it lightly. Viper Pit. Yeah. Couldn't have said it better. 
you in some trouble? Not yet. Just need a soul I can trust for now. Yeah, Jackie. That kind of sounded like a yes. Meet me at Lizzie's. Be there in an hour. All right. Okay, but I do want to read the report on my terminal, so let's do that. Is it pointing me in here? I need your stamp on something. It's possible one of our assets was exposed. Uh, is this about Frankfurt? Is it Frankfurt again? No, different issue. Local. Tell me. Quick version. Quick version. Our Twelve agent words or less. Technica <laughs> suspects they might be on to him. They recently granted him red security clearance. That's top. He's been fishing for dirt, but it's been slow. Your point. They're clean. Like we run orphanages clean. Bleach That's server pretty clean. clean. We suspect they flagged him and are feeding him phony data. Should we green light Xfil or let him keep looking? What are the risks? Projected risks. Gotta Limited know. Limited threat to life. Not biotechnica style. Blackmail's possible. Leveraged against false accusations in the media. The guy has kids. He'd crack. Pull him out. Pull him out. But calmly. Don't raise any eyebrows. Otherwise, they'll catch on. Jenkins will be livid. Ah, well, heck him. I'll handle Jenkins. He's gonna be mad Understood. at me anyway. I have a feeling this mission is not gonna go well. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. What do we got? <clears throat> uh, oh, open drawer. Pick up cards. Trauma team. Insurance card. Uh, use cognitive booster. Sure. I mean, I guess this is par for the course with regards to, like, corpo time, hey? All right. Use computer. What do we got? We got messages. Vacation with the stars. The Crystal Palace. Unbeatable offers. Isn't that a football team? <laughs> Have you been to Thailand, Morocco, and Alaska more times than you can count? Looking for an adventure that isn't just another tour around Europe? Do you want to see how the world's biggest film and brain dance stars relax and party? Do you want to see the stars among the stars? No, you can. The Crystal Palace is offering a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to book an Earth U apartment along with a cosmically gargantuan selection of vouchers for any of our award-winning restaurants and casino comps to get Lady Luck on your side early. And don't worry, we do everything to assure your stay is heavenly, but your bill isn't astronomical. Oh my god, it's spam. Quantified Satori, previous week's results. Your bio data indicators are reading abnormally. High levels of cortisol, catecholamine, and adrenaline persist from previous results. Hormone blocker usage is prescribed for only two weeks before requiring a baseline reset, but your usage has continued beyond three weeks. Recommendation, meet with your trainer to prepare a recovery plan. Postmortem operation, wormy apple from Arasaka Department of Analytics, Night City to V. The meeting of the Department of Operational Oversight Committee finds as follows regarding Operation Wormy Apple. The operation was executed without following proper procedure, thus putting agent lives and, more importantly, company reputation in jeopardy. More importantly? Oh my god! The operation's success is due solely to the fact that Patrickham committed errors which proved more costly than our own. All personnel involved in planning the operation will be subject to an internal audit. We find the death of the Prague contact caused toxin-induced cardiac arrest, a direct result of poor planning. Required action. Investigate all stages of operation planning from reconnaissance to implementation with the aim of isolating irregularities in procedure and or judgment. New space. The administration bulletin. We are pleased to announce that the opening of a new space in our Night City headquarters, our scientists have meticulously curated authentic rainforest flora and fauna in designing our very own experimental self-sustaining ecosystem. More details coming soon. Right, and then files. <clears throat> After assessing data collected from contact reports in Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and Montana, we did not confirm any active Noosa efforts against Arasaka assets or operations in federal territories. However, the same conclusion cannot be drawn regarding potential threats from Militech. Although the corporation has obvious close ties to the Noosa government, we were unable to obtain valuable intel due to much tighter control on internal procedure and information flows. We must rely on unconfirmed circumstantial evidence obtained by our own field agents for the time being. Conclusion, for further human gathering required, like human intelligence, Current data are circumstantial and do not allow for indisputable conclusions. All right. Oops, wrong button. Stand. To the AV garage. Okay, sorry, garage. Here we go. This office is really like dark. I have nothing to add. 
All right. Tell your people no, I don't say anything of the sort. Everyone is very involved in their own world right now. Were they talking about lunar bases? Scanning. Access granted. Thanks. Okay. Getting in this car. Getting Jenkins AV. Okay. Weird car. Very cool. Very fancy. My outfit is horrendous. I hate it. Please provide your destination. Guess we're going to Lizzie's. Bring up district analytics first. Bring up district analytics. Increased NCPD presence and activity has been reported in Haywood. No official statement has been forthcoming. Okay. Intercepted radio communications suggest MaxTag has been sent to the area. A widespread power failure has been reported in Santa Monica. I love Domingo. how detailed the AI is. All other districts exhibit activity within expected parameters. All right, go on then. Let's go to Lizzie's Destination, Bar. Destination: Lizzie's Bar. Noted. En route. Switch on the news. news broadcasting with a breaking story for you. A conference of the European Space Council screeched to a grisly halt following a failure in the neural stabilization system. After they let all died. The Space Council members are dead, while three remain in critical condition. Pretty. Authorities are still looking into what might have Some survived. A shocking incident. The council members Some survived. are wearing Biotechnica provided devices. The corporation's representatives have, as yet, refused to call. I like the giant fish. Our reporter is on the scene. We'll have updates on developments as they come to light. Stay so N54 awkward. <laughs> do, 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 do. That is pretty awkward. But did she say like two or three of them survived in critical condition? Who wants to bet that they will just mysteriously die? I like this whole tour of the city kind of vibe, though. Not sure how I'm feeling about my chances of surviving this mission without at least some opposition. Oh, I have a life coach. Oh, no. Hello, v. Yes, we weren't scheduled to connect until the end of the week. Quantified Satori received notification of a somewhat troubling biometric reading. I felt I should call. Okay. Is everything in order? Uh, everything's fine. Things are dandy. Everything is. Just think back to our last session. The neuromotor relaxation exercises three times a day. They'll soothe and lift your oh, spirit. Oh, no. <laughs> Not the life coach. Sure. Okay. See you later. I'm very dismissive of the life coach. That may be part of the problem. The Amber Fox. Hey, this city is intense, eh? Tough morning. Feeling kumquatty today. Not how I would describe myself, but sure. Real juicy meat. <laughs> Somehow I doubt that. That ad is pretty cool. No designated landing site has been detected at the destination. Sorry, right, just drop me out of the sky. It's Find fine. Find a spot close to the bar, as close <coughs> as you can. Fuck procedures. Initiating landing sequence based on new parameters. New parameters. Fuck procedures. <laughs> Lizzie's bar is nice. I feel like in another in another life I would enjoy going there. All right, we're landing. Let's go. Oh, and then they close the window. Thanks. Fuck's your problem, Psycho Sue. This looked like a landing pad to you. All right, well. Fucking crushed us. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, no, no, hey, we, we ain't looking for no beef with you. Then don't start no beef. Don't start no beef, won't be no beef. Zach says photo mode. Ah, oh, well, we'll do that later. There's no point in me doing that now. That's me. It's here on business. I don't want any trouble. Just here on business. They did start it. Good to hear. I like the vibe. Welcome to Lizzie's. Thanks. Talk to the bouncer. Meet with Jackie. Let's go. Any loot? Nice shoes. Although I think that might actually be the lighting. <laughs> Where's Jackie? Oh, he's over here. Okay. We're going downstairs. Nice walls. 
All right, where are you at? Hello, Jackie. I love Jackie. Now sit down and tell me what's got your shorts in a knot. It's good to see you too, Jack. Hey, How you bud. Been? I got sparks flying between the Valentino boys and Maelstrom. Eddie's there for the taking. As long as you don't get flatlined. That's fun. Yeah, I know how it is. Can't complain, but we ain't here to shoot the shit about me. Bless him. Let me hear about this problem of yours. Needs to stay between us. I feel like he's gonna be like, duh. Jackie. Before I start, <coughs> this stays between us. Por supuesto. Of course. Serious. This thing, it it could ruin me. I love that they all so have baseball bats. You do realize who you're talking to, right? The guy who's done this before. Remember what happened in Mexico at the border? I keep one word. I know. You saved my ass. If word about the cartels had gotten out. Good friend. But it didn't. And this won't either. That's why you came to see dear old Jackie. Yeah, okay, here you go. Data shard. Take it. And it goes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I love the way his cheap. eyes change. It'll have to be done on the sly. I'll Don't just toss it on the table? On only. Got the money. Full crew job for sure. Techie, maybe two. A runner with a gold plated brain. And a driver with wheels from hell. Not to mention a solo. Mm hmm. The piece I'm missing. Is that what you need from me? My trigger finger to zero this lady? Need someone I can trust? Delicate situation, I know. That's why I need somebody I can trust. This ain't no delicate situation, Emma. It's a hit job. Pretty Plain much. Simple. You know how Arasaka operates. Or, okay, maybe you don't. This isn't a professional request I can refuse. But I can. And I am. And you should too. Now, what do you say we liquor up and talk life? I don't know. Gracias, mamita. Double tequila with grenadine and lime. Nothing better for drowning nerves. Uh, yeah, go on. Do this. Was that a toast? What the hell does that even mean? I don't know, you Jackie. Raise a glass to your mama, your hermana. To the mamacita you'll meet at the bar. But this doesn't say a damn thing. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> to this. <laughs> he's not wrong. That was pretty low effort. This job and all the rest of that corpo bullshit. You know what it is? Un pacto con el diablo. Fair. Been saying it all along. Soldier sold to those Arisaka fuckers. Today, they got you to zero somebody. Tomorrow, they'll get somebody else to zero you. Probably true. You think I have a choice? You think I have a choice? If I refuse, they take everything and leave me nothing. Now, well, let them. They'll also take the fist they got gripping your balls. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm pretty picky about who I let touch my balls. <laughs> okay, <Saburo> Jackie. <laughs> and his matones, oh, they definitely do not make the cut. Maybe someday. But for now, I'm still well within their reach. Uh-oh. You'll always be within reach. What's going on here? Always with you. Hey, you lost? Uh-oh. Got a problem? V, is that right? Did Jenkins send you? That's not good. I don't believe I know you. You don't. But we know you very well. Jenkins assigned you a task today. You'll share all the details with us. Who are you? Name and department again. Didn't quite catch it the first time around. <laughs> oh, oh. How you feeling? I took my money. Dive, huh? Your access to company networks is hereby revoked. Well. In two minutes, any company cybernetics in your possession will cease functioning. Give us the data you received from Jenkins. This will conclude termination Find procedures. Access suspended. Shut down in progress. How the hell did you find out? That is not your concern. The data now. All right, it's on the table. <laughs> Information's on the shard. Smart choice. I want. 
We done? With the formalities? Yes. But I think Abernathy would gladly up our fee for ridding Please excuse her my life. of rot like you. Ooh. Stand up. You're coming with us. Come on, move by us, Bennett. Taki, don't. I think you fellas might have forgotten just how far from home you are. I'm not sure this body was your style, let alone a healthy option. Uh-oh. Start shooting, maybe we join in, huh? Before you know it, somebody might I don't fancy the chances in here. We have what we came for, it'll do for now. Well, they took everything. Oh, I was beginning to feel kind of rich, to be honest. Dodge one there. B, how you feel? You I love right? Jackie. Like, <clears throat> like shit. <clears throat> My throat's like sandpaper. More tequila. Sure <laughs> it's like when my little primito was ditching drugs. Nasty chills, trembling hands, cold sweat, and dry even. Yeah. Sounds about right. Hey, hey. Is this gonna be because Should of cybernetic? Should I get you to a ripper, or? I guess maybe trauma team's on its way. TG policy's gone. Yeah, Jack. they they ain't coming. So are my biochem controllers, company pad. I mean, they have seized my bank account. Not frozen, seized. Well, Jesus, these fuckers move fast. You sure you feel okay though? I mean, just need to catch my breath. Give me a minute. Get my shit together. to be that jack i mean we were talking about getting out of the corporate life right completely i'd say you got it back you couldn't say no to him so they said it to you this is a turn for the better you'll see i think he's Besides, right you haven't lost everything i have to say i i still have a friend that's sweet <laughs> no Dumbass. <laughs> you still got that wad for the hit job. True. Probably some fat ass chunk of cha chang. Just right for a new start. You got some money. That's right, Chica. Buckle up. Hey, you hearing all right? Don't look so high. Uh oh. B. Hi. B. Just falling hey, off the sofa. Your new life. It starts now. Thanks, Jackie. Hello there, Night City! Let's go! Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams! Oh, I like Jackie. I town. Is that Jackie's like mom? A mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her! I look rough. <laughs> Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals! Nice. But only half these gongs will survive a year! Amazing. Nice dancing. Nice dancing. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. Well, there goes a tooth. You AC's legends. Know where you'll find most of them? Nice. The graveyard. Run out of bullets, just chuck the gun at them. That's how it goes. At least I'm not wearing that weird stuff anymore. The city of dreams. That corpo outfit, the uniform. Chick we're looking for somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped Half a year her. later. Eyes and ears open, all right? All right. Speaking of which, got you a little something. Ah. Militech training you shard. You shouldn't have. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR. Okay, I will skip the tutorial. Not now, Jack. No time. I think we'll be Maybe good. Maybe later. Sure, sure. 
Mañana. Mañana. Any tips? Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what <laughs> I pay you for. It's easy Love it. work. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. This way. I apologize for interrupting Jackie, but uh, I got a phone call, so I had to take care of it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay. I feel like Let's Plays and everyone else's channels are so much more professional than they are on mine. <laughs> but look, I play from the heart, okay? I need to press the button. I think I might have to press the button. All right, he's staring at me. <laughs> Hi, T Bug. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Okay. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part that's of this true, squad. That's true. That's true. Squad. Charming. I like T Bug. Bug could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive, supportive. Call a damn helpline. I like T-Bug. Nah. It's fine. Alright, let's go. Follow Jackie. Okay. I can do that. I'm good at following instructions. Ooh, a vending machine. <laughs> Not that I get to Looking for 1237. Okay. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomon. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Is that you? Oh, I hate this life or death Back shit. Back in your apartment. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Okay. Think you can trip it on your own, V? I'll give it a try. I need to get used to it, aren't I? Right, okay. So, quick hacking. Tab. Scan and look at a device. Holds tab. Remote deactivation. Okay. Low profile. I can do low profile. Oop, oop. What's over here, though? Oh, I have to hold to use. Are we fucking late? Is that her? Is that our target, V? Fresh meat. We won't forget your dead man walking. From Victor to Blaze, if any of your lackeys show up here again, they're in for worse than a split jaw. That's not an empty threat. Try me, motherfuckers. Okay. Examine the woman's body. Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical bad so not fix ups. Not our lucky girl. Let's keep looking. She is messed up. Is there anything I can do? I can scan the body. Okay, interesting. Find back. Just gonna grab any loot. Hold on. Emergency on demand. How did it happen? When and why did we as a society decide that human life is a commodity, a luxury? My mother passed away at 45. She still had decades of life to live until it was all stolen from her by common pneumonia. If she had held even the cheapest trauma team policy, she could have been cured within an hour, but she couldn't afford it. My mother died five months before her scheduled appointment with her family practitioner. Five months? The idea of privatized healthcare is deeply ingrained in our public psyche. Me? <laughs> Already in 2020. There was widespread consensus that 500 euro dollars a month was a fair price for trauma team insurance. Health wasn't something you were given, it was something you earned. The private system may not be perfect, but there's no alternative, we thought. Bullshit. Now I cross the Pacific Ocean to the USSR, where they also have highly trained medical technicians, high precision nanosurgical suites, specialized antibodies, intravenous probes, the list goes on. Emergency airlifts using modern AVs equipped with cryotonic chambers. They have those too. The difference then, they don't leave their people to die on the streets at the store in their homes. They don't force anyone to purchase their lives from a corporation as if they're the ones who own it. Public health care isn't some unachievable utopia. It is a reality. Trauma team, on the other hand, treats its policyholders as both potential patients to be treated and potential products to be bought. They save lives only because there's profit in it. A saved life is a returning customer. Client death can also bring in fiscal gains in the form of organ and implant resale, though of course in regulated smaller sums. An emergency care provider can't afford to give its managers reasons to deliberately kill off its clientele base for short-term windfalls. Surely you ask these medical professionals are also guided by their Hippocratic Oaths? Please. That's, uh, scathing. All right. Hello. Hey, Mira, eyes up. The 
What the hell's ahead? Okay, okay. Drop him quietly. Quiet, we say. Okay. I sneak. Careful now. Okay. Uh, take down and hide his body. There's a what the heck? Holy crap, his spine? Counterfeit documents. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I'm having a quick peek. I'm doing a very thorough playthrough. Many believers we live ugh, many people believe we live in a time when impossible has become an obsolete term. Ripper docs can replace nearly any part of the human body with artificial implants from your big toe to portions of the nervous system. My years and trauma team, however, taught me that the impossible is still very much possible. Even now, as we enter the twilight of the 21st century, we as medical professionals have not been able to eliminate all of the side effects that come from incorporating cybernetic elements into our bodies. Of course, everyone is familiar with the mental disorder most commonly referred to as cyberpsychosis, but it doesn't end there. Although advances in medical science for the greater part of a century have reduced its incidence to a minimum, cyberware rejection can still occur in a small subset of the population. These unlucky few can exper experience a range of complications, but the following are the most prevalent. One, immune response. The body rejects the implant, causing scar tissue to continue growing to the point that it causes pain and inflammation of surrounding tissue, as well as possible interference of the tech's electrical circuits. That makes sense. Psychological effects. Neurological implants have the potential to cause unpredictable change in the brain. Possible side effects include depression, apathy, hallucinations, and sudden increases in addictive behaviors, such as gambling. Implant overdependence. Long-term use of certain synthetic body part replacements can change the brain's chemistry to make it accustomed to a particular type of implant. There are reported cases of permanent blindness after patients attempted to replace their Kiroshi optical implants with different models. In the face of these known risks, what should our outlook be as consumers and medical professionals to deny ourselves cybernetic enhancements on the 0.5% chance we should could lose our vision forever or gamble away our life savings at the casino? The clear answer is no. Cyberware technology has elevated human biology to the point where these what-if arguments serve against our best interests. The best advice I can offer for minimizing your risk is to read the technomedical profiles for all cyberware you intend to purchase before you install it. That's easy said. I'm getting all these bounce backs, eh? Oh my god. Please fuck these reapers. Yeah, I didn't know they were there. Pick the prick off. Which one? Wait while staying on notice. Cabrones. Take us locus. Let's wait a plan of spray. They leave? Take one down. Just real quiet. Alright. Okay. Grab the one closest. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, he's dead. Did you get him? Oh, he got him and all. Nice! We got a revolver. Probably not the last of them. A bloody piggy triweed muscle tank. Okay. A bloody knife. And a unity power pistol. Okay. What have we got? Who's in here? We have breach protocol and distract enemies. We have this guy. Do we just have the one? Oh no, we have this guy. And there's another one over there. Why not? Why can't I engage with this one? Use the path marked by T-Bug. Oh, I see. What, do you want me to go around them? Optional. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll use the path marked by T-Bug. Interesting. I don't think I've ever done this way before. Okay. Defeat the scavenger leader. They're just gonna come in now, right? <laughs> okay. I feel like they're just gonna come in. What's this? A lottery scratch card. Ooh, I wonder if I won. Lilu beans! <laughs> I, la I don't know what Lilu beans are, but I want them. Oh my gosh. What do I do? Can I. Do you think I can grab them? Oh, 
fucking non-lethal tech dine. Don't see any what? on the sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shoot, where the hell's our target? Look I need around. to hide the body. Somewhere. We're gonna toss them in here. Like, I don't know, just right here. Drop him. I have his gun. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> I think it's one of those ones that you just like pick up. Okay. Well, I mean. What's he doing? Where are you going, Jackie? Did he like silently take them all out? He did not. Or maybe they did. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I meant to read this. Read this message. New new shard pain editors and mortality rates introduction the implant known widely as the pain editor is cyberware that reduces or even entirely eliminates pain it has enjoyed unwavering popularity for years among certain circles in night city the most devoted and arguably most valuable of which is mercenaries it is using this task group that zeta Tech conducted the following research the pain editor is a neural co-processor that inhibits the signals sent from nociceptors to the par parietal lobe parietal is that how you say that of the brain thus preventing feelings of pain in the user note some models also reduce symptoms of fatigue beneficial effects caused by the pain editor are in some way similar to the symptoms of hypoesthesia including greater resistance to physical forms of torture and the ability to ignore pain from severe wounds which can allow the user to continue to perform beyond normal human limitations for a brief period However, some studies have reported that the pain editor can yield a range of undesirable side effects. For example, in the heat of battle, some users are unaware of the severity of their wounds, which causes them to continue fighting without realizing they are dying and require immediate medical attention. The statistics support the theory that a lack of negative reinforcement may cause users to continue fighting when the rational strategy would be to retreat and escape death. Since 2020, the mortality rate of pain editor owners is above 60%. In this report, I address the question of how to better protect Zeta Tech clients from avoidable death while using our pain editors. So corporate. So like, so capitalism. Right, okay, so hold on. Before we do anything, these all appear to be dead now. So do they have any loot? They do. Gotta get that loot loot. Let's go. Bloody knife. A copperhead. I'll have to go through all the stuff that I've picked up after. Ooh, a shotgun. And the penetrator. Oh, a mod that gives me crit chance. That sounds good. These are oh pistol ammo. Sure, I'll take some ammo. Rifle ammo. Any more over here? Any stuff? Nothing else. I seem to be able to loot. I'm sure I've missed some, but that's okay. I'm gonna pick this up in case I need it. I don't think I will though. Wait, there was a computer over here, wasn't there? Any new stuff in here? drop that on the floor messages uh pay or your head will explode from nightmare hey Trum, today is your unlucky day you probably wonder who i am i'm a voodoo boy probably heard of us remember last time you hit the net yeah me too i hack your co-processor co and install a little surprise for you now you do what i say or your head goes boom i think a thousand uh they, they call them euro dollars eddies it's fair pay to keep your head. If you pay, I uninstall my surprise. If not, I blow up your head, but blow up the head of the person you love the most first. And if you tell NCPD, I blow up your head twice. I have two, you have two days to pay. And I know you read this because I installed Spycam in your optics. We read it together. This is not a negotiation, troops. Do not reply. Just pay and you will live. <laughs> I'll blow up your head twice. <laughs> Implants for cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, huge savings on discounted second-hand cyberware. Don't miss out. Today's deals. Plastic sin skin. Pink. Hand size M. Second gen. Used one week only. Near mint condition. Tech hair. Green. Shoulder length. Luminescent. Second gen. Moderate use. Occasional flickering. Faint cigarette smoke smell. Alloy feet. Chrome. Unpainted. Men's size 8. First gen. Light rust from lake water exposure. Price reduction. Jackie, could you stop breaking stuff in the background? <laughs> Price reduction due to lack of owner records. Synthetic, did they find them? <laughs> Synthetic calf muscle, red, no casing, mint condition, second gen, retrofit capable with older joint models. Items go fast, so buy now. Continue following us for the latest and best deals. Need someone to watch your back? Animals are alpha. <laughs> Danger prowls, night city. Got a stalker on your tail? Hired iron out for your blood? 
Some freak giving you crooked looks and bad vibes. Not the bad vibes. Or maybe you're just looking to pad your personal security. The animals got your back. Survival of the fittest. It's the only law that matters in Night City. You hire us, we show your enemies just what that means. We'll protect you, your home, your workplace, your property. Hell, we're even happy to knock on a few doors if necessary. Oh my god, not the ASCII art. <laughs> Become king of the jungle. Choose the animals. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. All right, cool. Um, don't think I need this, but I gotta take it. And then we're gonna have a little peek. A little a little peeky peek. We're so sneaky. Eddies, let's go. Got a trilby. Anything new in here? I'm just gonna toss this gun on the floor every two seconds. Fresh meat. We won't forget your dead man walking. Okay, so that's the exact one we already read. Anything new on this? Is this the exact same thing? Toys from Gump. Got a lot of good stuff. Hand from Zeta Tech uses bio signature, but we ordered a jailbreak. Mill attack lock on sites. So wonder where this gunk got it. Arasaka hormone regulator, no bio signature, and some other little curiosities. Optics actuator and cosmetic real skin. All right, well, do you know what? Heck that gun, it's there if I need it. Oh. Jeez. Well, here we go. Check body. Jackie, you gonna come in here or what? I'm gonna go check on him. Honey. Jackie, you gonna come join me? Come on. Move! I think he's just gonna stay there. I think this is up to me now. I think this is up to me now. <laughs> Move out of the way, dude! I think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, Jack and Tor Biomon. Need to know what we're dealing with. She's this in a tub of ice. Crammed in with another. Fuck. Like slaps of meat. That's so Keep it together, up. B. If she survives, she won't remember a thing. Tiny scar on the subconscious, that's all. I mean, small Heard mercies. people who live through shit like this get panic attacks. Without ever knowing why. You'll be sipping a glass of ice cold water and suddenly your hand's shaking. That's B, rough. Jack into her biomon. We need to know what we're dealing with. Okay. Jacking in. Sandra Dorset, NC five seven zero four four two, Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum, shit. Trauma Lucky for herself. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T bug, you ain't seeing this place. This is Tom's no, ice, high tech. hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find the shard. Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomod. Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomod working. Checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Okay. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomod. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency event yeah, that's not going to help. Been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon Cleaves trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Jack, look sharp. Not done yet. Don't know who's out there. Anything can happen. Captain ready, V. Do your thing. All right, let's go. Oh, no, no, don't. Oh, I mean, it could have gone worse. I thought I was going to drop her. <laughs> Literally thought I was going to drop her on the floor. I think. Oh, shit, it worked. I hope so. Get her outside. All right, let's go. Save Sandra. Okay. Carrier to the terrace. Scav rats abandoning ship. Must have seen trauma. Decided to cut their losses. Yeah. 
Well, here they come. And there's a booty bouncing in the background. <laughs> Okay. Place the patient on the ground. Okay. Like here? Okay. I set her down. Don't shoot me. Five steps back. Now. Yo! Why are they so rude? <laughs> TT133 to control. They're so patient rude. NC570442 secured. Stimulus being administered. I hope he's okay. Dopamine, I don't remember what happens with her. For okay, bye. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Hey, Jackie. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. All right. Good work. Shit I'm picking up over. the gun. Cutting my wires now. Okay. See, see you later, T-Bug. Listen, you got I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? I mean, uh, sure. I got a date with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's it gonna <laughs> look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. Yeah. <sighs> Save it my ass, V. My car. Thank I don't you. even know what my car looks like. How about I drive you home, huh? Sure. She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Yeah, go on then. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. Sure. To access your phone menu, press T. Oh, press and hold T. Wakako! Hi, Wakako! <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. I mean, for now, relatively speaking. Yeah, relatively well. Trauma team took her off our hands. She'll recover. Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Thank Ready you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. Yeah. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Okay. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Let's go. Looks like I'm not going to need this uh, the NCPD gun. is going to put Watson on lockdown. I'm going to sleep in my own bed tonight. We better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, chica. I'm driving. If you going to drive me home real fast, you better not wipe out my car. You hear me, Jackie? You better not wreck my car. Not that it's like a particularly nice car or anything. Bye bye, gun. I miss it already. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna listen to some tunes. Let's do it. I mean, one thing I will say this game has some immaculate cyberpunk vibes. I know it's in the name, but you know what I mean. Can't stop digging Night City. Yeah, I feel it. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, Chica. I'm really cynical. Morgan Blackhand. Andrew Wayland, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Uh huh. Shame that a lot of other people don't manage to make it to be legends, hey? I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you oh, say? you had a dick! Jackie, they're locking down Watson, remember? Oh, shit. We can have right. a meal later. You're going on a date. You can do it. Oh, no. Oh, I really wish I got to keep the big gun. I bet I dropped it on the floor. I don't like this one tiny bit. Oh no. Oh no. Fucking drive, Jackie! Yeah, Jackie! Oh, headshot though. Oh, he dropped loot! Keep her steady! He dropped loot! And it was green! What? Where what are you honey? Are you okay? I need to I need to shoot the driver. Oh. Got you, assholes. B, aim for the driver. I'm trying. Hold her steady. Chingalo. Got him. We good. <laughs> Just an average drive. <sighs> Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Honestly Sorry, saw it B. coming. It's okay. I can wait. Let's Honestly saw it me. coming. 
So you were saying nice city, great vibes, nice play. No, there's a there's a bullet hole in my windscreen. <laughs> Bottoms up, literally. Yeah, pulling out all the stops. Apparently. I. What is the lockdown to for the nerdist? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am. Officer, ma'am. Are we ever lucky we ran into you? System really? malfunction. What is it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold. Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to Smooth get back to my girl. Talker. Your girl? Uh huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand up guy. You should give me a chance. He's Wait. so smooth. That's a shame. Look at him. No Look at him. Season, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through. Ah, uh, look at that. Nice. Oh, hey. Okay. Didn't see the map. No you have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. Officer, ma'am. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's nice. What do you think that's nice, Jackie? So you can so be you nice. can be nice, <laughs> What am I not nice? <laughs> I love him. I'm always. I'm always never not nice. Okay. <laughs> Words be big hard. I have the DMCA free music on. Do you know what? It's not bad. Ah, never a dull moment. I feel like that doesn't look wise. Oh. It doesn't look like your average boss. These ain't your average badges. That's Black Stack. NCPD's Apex Predators. Impact Don't want to get on the bad side of them. Fly out of hand. Dogs out there, though. Just a midday snack for them. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. I love how, like, but they had it coming. people in the city are so used to this kind of thing happening that they just sit there and wait until it's over, and nobody, like, freaks out. It's just... Yeah, okay. So I could skip the rest of the ride, but I think there's a certain charm to just driving around in the car. I do think we will be finishing up the episode here though. Almost at your place. I think this is where we'll be closing up. Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Chill V. Don't let me through. Sure about that? Oh yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. Wet dream. My poor windscreen. Weird ghosting effect on it. I think that might be a setting. I'll look into it after. Sweet dreams there. Toons. All right. See you later. Good luck with your day. Tell Miss I said hi. I will. I will. All right. Let's go to the apartment and then I think we will wrap it up there for this episode. One level up. Oh, I don't need to call the elevator. It's already here. Apartments. Good evening. Nice Good evening. Oh, hi, T-Bug. Bug? Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Okay. Zip in your deeds. Thanks. Task T-Bug has given you is an important step in the path to developing your net running skills. Be sure to complete it when you get the chance. All right, cool. Thanks. Oh, hey. You get to have a look at the outside. That's pretty sweet. All right. Home we go. Are they looking at a broken lift or? Yeah. All right. We have arrived home. Check out your weapon stash. Let's do that before we wrap up. Rifle ammo. Your stash is a secure system for storing equipment and can be accessed from all of your available safe houses and vehicles. For example, if you store something in your car trunk, you'll be able to access it from your apartment later on. Nice. That's pretty handy. We do love a bit of quantum storage. 
Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so I have a Galaxy t-shirt from having got Galaxy and stuff. I have the Wolf School t-shirt from The Witcher. When you have to choose between Neo Kitsch and Neo Militaristic, but can't make up your mind. The jacket, though. Very nice. The item will be upgraded to Epic after 5 and to Legendary after 12 upgrades. And then we have a black unicorn. We have my old office stuff. I'm going to take this. How do I take it? Transfer. And I'll take... What's the difference between these two? I mean, this is better for me. But this looks cooler. Yeah, no. So I'm going to take everything that I want. And I'm going to have a super quick look at my inventory. Um, Let's equip. No, I... I what does this do? Oh, God. It's kind of ugly. That's cute also cute um my understanding is that you can change your appearance without changing your gear but i don't know how that works i mean we're obviously wearing the jacket i have a hat apparently oh no oh no that's awful oh it's terrible i look i'm sorry nothing is worth wearing that hat Nothing on the face. Now, outfit. This is wardrobe. You can change your appearance by activating a wardrobe outfit. To do this, you must first create an outfit in the wardrobe in, at any of your apartments. Then in your inventory, you can activate saved outfit, which will change the appearance of your equipped clothing using holographic projection technology. This does not change your equipped clothing. Okay. So in theory, I... No items. What does this mean? I don't know what that means. All right uh okay we have multiple weapon slots this pistol is decidedly worse than my existing pistol i do think i need to have a rifle because that feels like something i would use and then i think having the uh katana very nice okay cool so i'm gonna save up there and we will we'll do our little level up and everything afterwards but i'm gonna go to bed and i guess i will see you on the next episode Go to sleep. Oh, and we sleep the correct way around. When I first bought this game, it did not do that. Amazing. Act one. Let's go. And we save the game. Let's finish there. Thank you very much for hanging out with me and watching the first episode of my cyberpunk 2077 let's play series uh i am planning on releasing these videos every saturday um it may go up to twice a week if i end up recording enough episodes ahead of time but that is the plan for now um and i'm really looking forward to playing more this has been really really good um if you enjoyed uh please do make sure you hit the subscribe button and come back and watch other videos that i publish on youtube cyberpunk is my current let's play but i also will be posting uh, some other playthroughs feel free to also join me on twitch i stream mondays tuesdays thursdays and fridays at noon bst uh and i am streaming a lot of different like uh i guess spacey games sometimes some narrative games uh i am currently playing through bloodborne for the first time and also uh lots of elite dangerous and other stuff so feel free to come hang out and have a chat with us um and yeah um if you want to find me elsewhere there's a bunch of links in the description of the video uh, feel free to leave me a comment if you enjoyed it and otherwise I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day or evening or whatever time zone it is for you and I'll see you next time. Bye.